one essential problem with maintaining public trust in these areas is these activities are secret. And they're secret for very good reasons. The intelligence agencies operate in secret because anything that's disclosed publicly to the American people for purposes of their democratic control and deliberation are, are, are also disclosed to the adversary who's trying to defeat the system and that the system is designed to meet. So um, there's a reason why a lot of these activities are secret. And the problem is, is that in secret, the United States has actually developed a very robust system, much more robust than anywhere else in the world, of checks and balances inside the world of secrecy. So there are lots of internal constraints. There's a secret court. There's special reporting to the intelligence committees. This is the FISA court? FISA court is the secret court. There's lots of reporting to the intelligence committees. There are lawyers and inspectors generals and civil rights boards and all sorts of actors acting inside the government to make sure that these activities are bound by law and legitimate. And what the Snowden disclosures did was, and some people think the Snowden disclosures show that those institutions weren't working very well. I don't really believe that. I mean, I think that they did show that the intelligence agencies may not have gotten the balance right. But imagine if those disclosures had come out and we didn't have all those checks in place. The truth is, despite the initial very strident reaction against Snowden, it's kind of tamped down. And when it actually comes time for reform, a lot of the investigations have shown maybe we shouldn't change too much. Maybe we need to just change at the margins a bit. Maybe especially with bulk data collection, metadata collection, that needs to be tamped down on. But a lot of the other programs were thought to have been run well, remarkably well, in secret. So we have this very robust secrecy system, but it's proven not to be enough. I mean, one of the things Snowden showed us is that the government was too secretive. And that a lot of the controversy that occurred because of the Snowden revelations just came about because people didn't know what was going on. And there was, uh, there was a large gap in expectations between what people thought it was doing and what it was actually doing. 